This is the paperback. Um, I ordered the paperback and a hardcover from Amazon at the same time. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Emily and you know what this is? It's my proof copy from Amazon, finally. We're doing an unboxing video. It's probably going to be short because it's just going to be me tearing into this and screaming. This is not entirely the proof copy I wanted. It is Amazon's proof, not Ingram Spark, but the Ingram Spark one is on the way. I have a proof copy in my hands, and this is all that matters. For any of you who may be discovering me through this chaotic start to a video with absolutely no context, this is a proof copy of Under the Earth, Over the Sky, my debut novel. I successfully launched it on Kickstarter about a month back. The book has now been formatted, all the interior designs are done, and we're just we're getting through the proofs slowly through multiple printer issues so that I can get a million books shipped to my house and then ship them out to all my back. That's all the context you're gonna get because I'm too impatient. This is the paperback. Um, I ordered the paperback and a hardcover from Amazon at the same time. But the hardcover is coming next week. Um, Okay, graphic designer brain says it may look slightly dark. <laughs> okay. Hey, look, they centered the title. Oh, did they center the title? Not really. <laughs> I take it back. Okay. We got the front, we got the spine, which is, it looks centered until you look at my name up here and then you realize it isn't entirely centered. We got the back, we've got the ugly uh, not for resale bar that sort of ruins it. Amazon's print quality is iffy, Just we're just gonna say that. We got the map, the reason I say the print quality is kind of iffy is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really faded in certain spots, like right there, which is just not something I can control. It will vary from book to book. It looks good. It look <laughs> First chapter header. Look at how faded out Amazon does the numbers at the bottom. They're not actually, like I didn't fade them at all. It's just a thinner font. I'm gonna have to use the same font as I did for the body copy. But the body copy looks good. <laughs> um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did different illustrations for each chapter header section. So this is what the second section chapter header will look like. The section illustration for autumn and the chapter headers for autumn. <laughs> I also made a little crow for a scene break. I'm very happy I got InDesign to do that because InDesign does not come with a built-in way to do that, which is weird. If you're not annoyed with InDesign when you're using it, you're not using it. This is winter, and I know this illustration will not make much sense right now, but it will when you read it. The little winter chapter illustrations, which I'm very pleased with. Um, they also probably don't make much sense until you read it. Final chapter header, chapter illustration section, whatever, I can't talk. And the final set of chapter illustrations. It looks just a little bit dark, and that's partially because the matte cover, but I like matte covers so much. Does it flop? No, not really. Amazon books don't have the nice floppy flop. You guys have absolutely no idea how proud I am of this uh, little hand illustration thing. Hands are the bane of my existence. They are so difficult. I use so many references and it is so cute. It's the title page in case that you couldn't tell. There's the chapters page. There's more on the other side over here. And yes, I have a Tolkien quote. Of course I do. It's my book. Okay. Just for reference, um, the Ingram Spark copies, uh, this illustration will be on this cover of the paperback, and this illustration will be on this cover of the paperback, but this is how the paperbacks will look just normally to anybody who buys it off of Amazon. I feel like I'm, like, I'm very happy, but I'm so low energy because it has taken forever to get a proof copy into my hands, and I'm still having a lot of problems getting the paperback up for pre-order through any vendor because Amazon doesn't allow that. In Ingram Spark has issues and Barnes and Noble Press is taking incredibly long. So 
for all the people on TikTok, if you watch my videos, um, I am trying to get the paperback up for pre-order and there will be one. The printers, the printers are trying to drive me into an early grave. That's all I'll say. But you can pre-order the ebook. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I have nothing to say other than that you can pre-order this for ebook. Um, you can read this for free and this is on Amazon too and paperback and Kindle Unlimited. Those are the only thoughts I have. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to go scream. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>